Hey, brother. And hello, everyone else. We are at 400 subscribers. <laughs> Woo! Ketchup. I recently started seeing these Heinz dip and squeeze ketchup packets places and I love them. If you haven't seen them, they're really cool. First of all, they come with like three times the amount of ketchup, which is a big improvement. Second of all, you can dip into them, which seems kind of like, I don't know, duh. For the most popular dipping sauce in America, you'd think it would have come in a dippable container before 2012. But if you're a purist and still want to squeeze your ketchup onto a napkin, you can still do so right here out of the top. Personally, I think it's quite a feat of engineering that they came up with something sturdy enough to hold up the dipping container, but flexible enough to still squeeze stuff out. Plus, it looks like a little ketchup bottle. Aww. I love it because they took the ketchup packet, a product that 100% filled the need for small amounts of portable ketchup, and improved upon it in every single way. In a world of first world problems, this is a first world solution. It does bring up some problems I have with other condiment packets though, Ben, like mustard. They're bright yellow, but just so you're certain that you're about to eat mustard and not ketchup, they're also see-through on the back every single time. It must be such a self-esteem killer for the mustard. Like warning, you are about to eat mustard. But as if that wasn't enough, they put up like one final roadblock because mustard always seems to be way harder to open than ketchup. Except these new ketchups, Ben. Easy tear on top, easy peel on the bottom first world solution. Also, why does mayonnaise come in a giant package? I have a problem with this for two reasons, Ben. One, why wasn't this the first solution to the ketchup problem? Hey, have you ever squeezed out a single pack of ketchup and been like, yes, this was totally enough. I only wanted three fries anyway. Two, who was under the assumption that we need extra mayonnaise? Every single person I know, the one thing they take off their sandwiches when they're ordering food is mayonnaise. But the fine people at Kraft and Hellman's must be in denial because the mayonnaise packages are way too big. Have you ever seen ketchup spelled catsup? Is that a real acceptable thing? Can you spell it that way? And if you spell it catsup, do you pronounce it ketchup still or is it catsup? Because if it's catsup, Ben, I don't like that. That's one dyslexic person away from being sup cat. And unless you're referring to your friend Catherine who goes by cat, it's basically a bro greeting for cats. And we all know how I feel about cats on this show, Ben. Anyway, back to the packaging, Ben. Heinz didn't just stop at the little packets, they've also improved the crap out of their bottles. Has anyone ever had the misfortune of coming across a glass ketchup bottle? If you have, I would say, well, maybe don't eat it because it's probably left over from the 1990s. Things to consider if you have a glass ketchup bottle are, one, you're not going to get any ketchup out of it if it's not the very first pour, which is the only good pour it has. Two, if anyone over 40 is near you, they're going to insist that there is a sweet spot where the ketchup will in fact flow. Three, there is no sweet spot. And four, if there is a sweet spot, it doesn't matter because do you know where the sweet spot is on a plastic container, Ben? Everywhere! Not only did they switch to a plastic bottle, but they put the top on the bottom, which which is genius. I can't wait for my shampoo and body wash to catch up to this trend. Ketchup is paving the way. Only one problem remains, Ben. It sounds like a fart. Ketchup sounds like someone's farting on your food. Like a kitten. So Ben, that's all I have to say about ketchup, but before I ask my question of the day, I wanted to tell you a story about something I saw this weekend that made me really happy. I was on Twitter and I noticed that some of the people that are our followers had started to communicate with each other completely independent of you and me. Like people had started forming friends based on Super Carlin Brothers and that was awesome! So I have a question and a challenge for you today. My question is, what is your favorite condiment to put on foods? And my challenge for you is to not only answer the question, but then to respond to somebody else's comment and keep the conversation going. Also, we finally had another Grizzly Eagle Shark submission! Or should I say, Teddy Eagle Shark? Aw, oh, he's so cute! And deadly. Lastly, Ben, last week we talked about doing a massive group tweet at the Vlogbrothers to see if we could get them to watch one of our videos. I have come up with a date and time and tweet. The date is this Thursday, the time is 7 p.m. Eastern, and the tweet is this right here. I will leave it down in the description below. All you have to do is copy and paste it. If you cannot be on your computer this Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern time, all you have to do is go to www.hootsuite.com, sign up for an account there, and you can schedule your tweets to go at very specific times. And in fact, that might be better for everyone to do so that everyone can hit them at exactly the same time, 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern time this Thursday. Thursday. Can't wait. Whew. See you in another life, brother.